Good morning. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for watching. Have you ever stopped and thought about what your client, your actually client really experiences of you? Not what you think they experience, but have you really thought about what they really actually experience of you? Right. So I took my son to one of those arcades, you know, one of those places where I get to spend lots of money, he gets to play lots of games, earn lots of tickets, and we go home with lots of trinkets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know the place. So especially if you're a parent, I know. <laughs> um, so my son was having a blast at the arcade and he couldn't wait to go pick out his prizes. So we walked up to the counter, we stood in line and we watched the child in front of us being helped by the manager. But the manager's enthusiasm was lackluster at best. <clears throat> she sighed, <sighs> she rolled her eyes and she pressured the kid to just make a decision. But now while I might've been thinking the same thing in my own mind, I was looking for a magical experience for my son and her attitude was pretty off-putting. So it came to be our turn and we got called up to the counter luckily by Darnell. Now Darnell was the exact opposite of the manager. He smiled, he was engaging, he asked my son what he wanted. In fact, he helped my son make the life altering decision between a bouncy ball and a plastic army guy, which is a big decision, right? Darnell was awesome. Now if I were honest, I probably, if, if we had had an experience similar to the child in front of us, we probably never would go back to that arcade. It is because of Darnell that I'd be willing to go back to that arcade. And that's why I say that client experience can make or break your sale. So thinking about what that client is experiencing, and again, from their perspective, not just from your perspective of what you think, but really from their perspective, all of the touch points that you have with them from the first time they hear your name to when you wrap up uh, your, your service with them. So I want you to think about <clears throat> your business from your client's perspective. Think about, okay, let's, let's go back to the story. Think about the manager and her perspective. Now she may not have even thought she was doing anything wrong. Like she might've been bored. She'd been there all day. Um, just another snot nosed kid that she had to help. And she might not have thought anything about her um, attitude or her interaction or what what kind of experience she was giving the child. She's a manager, so she had some level of authority, some level of experience or expertise, assumably. Um, but from the client's experience, it was pretty miserable. I don't know what that kid felt or what that kid's parents felt. Um, maybe they weren't even phased, but I saw it as quite a, a comparison, a juxtaposition um, between the manager's attitude and Darnell's attitude. So I want you to be thinking today about your customers, your clients' experience from their perspective. <clears throat> and in my work with clients, so I help, or excuse me, so, so small business owners hire us, hire Lone Orange to help figure out that what that seller client experience is. And in our process, we don't start right away with client experience. We start first with who you are as a business, who you are, who you say that you are, what kind of message you're giving people. And then we make sure that that client experience aligns with what that brand promise is. So it is a in-depth process. In fact, I've created a 13-point checklist. I call it the KCB checklist for know, communicate, and be. Because at Lone Orange, we first help our clients know who they are, um, know who they are as a business, who they best serve, what their personality is, and then we help them to communicate that both visually and verbally in a clear and compelling manner. And then we help them to be that whole brand. So document the systems, get really clear on that client experience so that the client experience can be consistent no matter who's delivering it. And so that the client can, can become a raving fan because their experience is consistent. And, um, and they love working with you no matter who on your team they're working with. So that's what I want you to think about today, that client experience and how it can make or break your sale. <clears throat> And 
what your client experience really is like. And if you'd like that 13 point checklist, the KCB checklist, there is a link in the description below that you can click on that, you can sign up and you'll get that, that PDF delivered to your inbox. So that's all I have for today. I look forward to seeing you next time and I hope you have a great day. Thanks, bye.